Hello everybody on the YouTube. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of step by step on how to make natto without natto can or the previous batch of nattos. In India, you cannot find natto in the market. Also, um, there is no natto can available. So I use a bio fertilizer. It's perfectly fine. I haven't been sick from consuming it so i think it is safe to say that it's safe to consume so here is a variety of kidney beans this is kashmiri rajma it is a small variety i've kept it to soak i'll be soaking this for about eight hours and then pressure cook it the reason why i pressure cook it is because it's just a lot more convenient and quick let's less time consuming you know uh, other ways of doing it is by uh, steaming it or boiling it but then you know you just it works even if you pressure cook it so and my natto just comes out pretty well so I just pressure cook it to the point that it's uh, to the point that you can mash it between your two fingers also the variety I use is this I just will show you the small kind of kidney beans that I use for making natto these will double in size after eight hours of soaking you can just directly pressure cook it and I'm just going to show you my next step after pressure cooking it and now these are my cooked kidney beans they should be um, reasonably uh, softened um, you should be able to smash them but not too much so that's what it looks like I'm I will strain these and show you the next step now once you've strained the beans and separated it from the water um, it's time to add the fertilizer this is the bio fertilizer it is Bacillus subtilis. Green Duel is the brand name. I'll just simply add it like that. It's it stinks. Definitely has mm, a horrible look. Blah. Blah. It smells really bad. But I'm so sorry for the gag reflex. Hmm. Once the natto is actually prepared, <clears throat> that smell goes away. It's just that liquid uh, which smells like that. Once you've done that, um, I wonder if it will fit into this. I don't think it will. So I'll just transfer the water into this. And um, once that is done, I will just take the beans from it and least water. They are quite mushy, so be careful not to break your beans. Okay, now once you have the beans in your boxes, just, um, you know, pack them like that. They, sh um, they shouldn't be too less or too much. Just, I'll cover them. Yes, these are airtight boxes, but, but that's okay. Um, we will open them in between our process. Now, I have these two little boxes of my natto now i'll start the fermentation process for that i will cover these two in uh, in a cloth so oh my god it's burning hot summer and i'm just going to basically i've wrapped the natto boxes into this and i'll just oh so I required my both hands, 
so I've just covered it with cloth and keeping it in my dashboard uh, in my glow box actually of my car and that is like it keeps it warm and nice and that's the advantage of the summers making natto in summers so I'm just gonna get out okay now it's the next morning and this is after 24 hours of keeping the boxes in my glow box of car my car was still pretty hot and that helped these to ferment pretty well now I'm just going to see the results you can see that it's all that frosty well it's not supposed to be that frosty but let's just see mm. it's sticky all right mm -hmm. okay looks good to me now it's time to keep the two boxes for aging well let me just take a look at the second one first I hope it's oh nice it already has strings okay this looks good looks pretty good oh nice Wow beautiful strings now I'll just keep it into the refrigerator and when it ages the strings become better so the two are just going to go in my refrigerator okay now it is uh, my nutter has been um, aging in the refrigerator all day long and now it's almost dinner time time to oh look at the strings it looks good so this is the final product okay so Amato is ready to be eaten it's pretty nice and sticky now let me tell you how it tastes it tastes just like boiled kidney beans um, I read on the internet and even watched some videos on people taking natto challenge and everything they said that it makes them peel the uh, uh, s uh, the smell of natto is unbearable and the taste is horrible and everything I think the smell is horrible only of the fertilizer and not the final product my final product doesn't stink it really doesn't and all it tastes like is boiled kidney beans that are really really bland and I think you will have to sort of season it before you eat it the best way of eating your natto uh, I think would be by chopping your natto and then once you chop it you know put it on your instant noodles or put it between your sandwich make sure to season it with something I would season it with soy sauce fake soy sauce with no soy in it of course and with uh, stuff like um, um, mustard and paprika so yeah so the finished product looks like this it's beautiful and stringy pretty nice if you move it a lot the strings will increase and it will be really slimy okay so this was my video on natto the inspiration for this video was one of my uh, Indian vegan friend who was curious on how I make natto so the video was primarily made for him
<laughs> but also everybody else who are going to watch it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, we are uh, we Indians are still new to NATO, so it will eventually be in the market. But then, till uh, till then, you know, I'm just going to use my bio fertilizer to make my NATO. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked my video, and also uh, share my video and comment in the comment section below. I'll have uh, a box of natto with ramen noodles tonight for dinner. Thank you for watching again, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.